Welcome to Brightworks. We are installing what's called the refuse panel from CDD Auto Gear. So what happens on these old uh, fuse panels is the Bakelite will break and you see when that happens, you're not going to get any tension. So all your fuses fall out or don't make good connections. So we're replacing them with this uh, refuse product and we've done a lot of these and I like them. Uh, he makes this so that you can now use the blade fuses because a real ceramic fuse is almost impossible to find nowadays. It's plastic junk that uh, falls apart half the time when you're just trying to install them. So now you can go into any auto parts store and uh, get replacement fuses. So one of the things in Alan's instructions are to use the zip ties. So he provides you with like two dozen zip ties. And you can see here that I've zip tied off the bundles, right? When there's single wire, I don't put a zip tie on it, but the bundles. And that advice is probably the biggest single time saver thing that there is out there, other than never having to troubleshoot one of these again. Um, because all it takes is one little wire. Uh, this one is uh, gray with a black stripe. And if you leave that out, and then you find it kind of hanging back in there, you go, oh goodness, which one does that go to? And um, you start to dig out the wiring diagrams. Fortunately for this 78, we have all the factory uh, wiring diagrams, but you still have to go trace it. You gotta figure out what fuse is it, what wire is it, where does it go to? Um, so doing the little bundles, you save a ton of time. Yeah, it takes a little time to snake the uh, wire tie under there, but it's uh, super easy to swap it once you do. Now, one of the things though is this is thicker than the original fuse panel. So it still fits under the box nicely. So once you put the box in the cover on, nobody knows that you've updated to modern fuses. Um, however, he does provide you with longer screws to be able to make sure that this will attach to the factory attachment points. And instead of this being a 10 and a three, he's got one panel. Right, so the whole panel will replace these two different fuse boxes. And you start looking at the prices on these things from Porsche Classic and you go, wow, this refuse kit is, oh, and he sends the fuses too. Uh, but the refuse kit is well worth the money uh, and it's a little bit more cost effective. So if you've got electrical issues in your 911 Porsche, uh, most likely you got fuse panel issues. If you're screwing around with uh, one or two of these that are broken off, just get the whole kit. Uh, I think it's under uh, it's under 500 bucks, and it gets you the back panel and the whole front panel. So refuse, and it's a, a R E F U Z E, and it's at C D D Auto Gear, and the owner's name is Alan. A super helpful guy. Anytime I've emailed him, he immediately responds. So luckily, we're on our fifth set of these, pretty much. So we got it down. But take your time, one at a time. I will usually do the top and then uh, slowly but surely make my way along the bottom um, and swap it out. But uh, your mileage may vary on that one. So good luck. Check us out at brightworks.com.